What is up, you sexy beasts? I am in Adelaide, Australia, the home of James Newbury. And uh, if you're here for the first time, sorry, I'll introduce myself. Uh, my name is Vakey, and uh, so nice to meet you. If you're new here, I hope you enjoy the content. It's, uh, it's all CrossFit related, CrossFit commentary, CrossFit vlogs, just lots of fun stuff. So if you enjoy the content, um, we call ourselves here, we call ourselves the Sexy Beast Tribe, and we would love for you to join the tribe. So just go ahead and make friends with the subscribe button, give it a little high five, maybe give me a comment, say hi. Uh, guys, I've got a goal. Um, when it comes to filming yourself, it's extremely hard. It's not an easy thing to get in front of the camera. And often I would repeat sentences 10 times to make sure I get it, you know, say it right or, you know, whatever the case may be. I really want to challenge myself to not have cuts in the video, to just chat, to just, just chat so you guys see everything. So I'm going to try that right now. I'm going to try and just let the camera roll and, uh, and not cut like I normally would to hide the ums and ahs, you know, or when I have brain farts. I think that stuff adds a bit of character. So I'm gonna leave that in today and, <laughs> and hopefully this video isn't half an hour long um, for me to get my point across. Uh, I was in Adelaide to do some work for a non-fitness related company um, and I thought I'll try and catch up with James. We did catch up, we had a great lunch, had a training session. Um, I was gonna shoot a full vlog with him but time did not permit that and sometimes, you know, Sometimes you just want to hang out with your friends and not have a camera in their faces or camera, you know, they're capturing every conversation. So today I decided to ease off the camera and just uh, catch up with my buddy James. He's been away for a long time. He's been in quarantine for a month and um, I was the first person to have a meal with him today. And funny story, when he came back from Europe after the bobsledding last time, um, he literally came out of quarantine, picked me up at my, at my hotel and we went for breakfast. Hey bro, <laughs> fresh out of fresh out of ISO, <laughs> okay. the cleanest man in Australia. Yeah, pretty much. I didn't. This is not where I thought you were. I oh. thought you were down. That's what I was like. Here I can turn around anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I've still got half my stuff in here from ISO <laughs> because last night oh, I didn't so get it until like two o'clock. So much equipment. You got home at two o'clock. Yeah. Oh, bro. So I feel very, uh, very special, very special friend, James. Um, yeah. Anyway. Fun fact. So, I filmed a little bit of this training, so maybe I'll play that now. Um, the crew at Soul365 Gym in, in Adelaide, just the best crew. Uh, like, I met some of the guys today for the first time, and um, yeah, we just became buddies, trained together. It's just a sick gym, so if you ever find yourself this way, um, this part of the world, it's hard, eh? It's hard to not cut, I just gotta keep talking. It's hard. Um, that's all right, we're on the journey together, aren't we? So, um, just enjoy, enjoy the little bit of footage I shot at Seoul and then we'll chat about Rogue Invitational. Enjoy. That was good, that was kind of good. It was kind of good. That was kind of, that was kind of okay. And why to I lay with it? And why to I lay with it? I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenant Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bible in a dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the west side But I'm from the east side, that's how we slide That's how we ride, yeah, yeah, that's how we ride Don't pro, no lead, no lead Make it easy like one, two, three Go, go, on three, two, one I fly out till you can't see me so much pink, matching everywhere. Pink color shoes, pink socks. Color coordination on point, right? That's it. So it's not how you look, it's how you look way before me. That's important. Yeah. <laughs> I found someone who actually does all the programming that's prescribed, not just the strength work. <laughs> so good. Today I did anyway. Yeah. What are you training for now? The Australian high jump team or something? Or? Yeah, I don't know. I literally just came out here and these guys are setting up the squat rack and 
It's harder to jump in. <laughs> Literally, jump in. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no, it's good. Cardio it's not hot at all. <laughs> yeah, cardio is straight, yeah. Gifts. Gifts. What is this? Early Christmas, mate. Roll up. Love that. Hey, these are awesome. I thought if you cut the sleeves off those, it'll be a bit of you. Cut the sleeves off. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Muscle well, tent. it's a good summer. It's actually a good, that'd be a good summer kit. And I, and I, you know what? I like that it actually sits a little bit longer. I'm actually into the long shirt. It's a little bit of, um, a little bit of Craig. Craig Ritchie, that's <laughs> yeah. it. That's it. Yeah, I'm actually all about it. That's awesome. what I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be Craig Ritchie with my oversized shirts. Yeah. Yeah, me too. me too. I think everyone's trying to be Craig. He's got some style. He's good looking. Yeah. He's yeah. strong. Okay, Rogue. Rogage. Okay, team. So the Rogue Invitational. Uh, it's not this coming weekend, but the weekend after, the 29th of October. And today, I want to do my predictions um, on both the men's and the ladies' side. Now, I do want to recommend a video on the Sevan podcast where Brian Friend and one of his buddies, oh, I want to say his name was Josh. Anyway, Brian Friend and another guest on the podcast, they make their predictions um, in a much more scientific way than what I would do. These guys are like CrossFit nerds or um, trons, you know? We call, I call nerds trons, so they are CrossFit trons. Um, they are, they really are. They just, they love the numbers, they love analyzing all the events, all the, every athlete, and uh, I'm not into that, but I appreciate them, and they give us some really good insights. So go and watch the rogue um predictions video on their seven podcast in fact i'll link that i'll link it in description um, but i want to scroll through the faces real quick here and give my podium predictions just based on just gut feeling just love for the sport and just yeah it's just fun to do and i'd love to i'd love to hear your i'd love to hear english is hard sometimes as i've said many times on this podcast oh it's not even a podcast you see, this is the stuff that you don't um, get to see normally, but I'm going to leave it in this time. See how you like it. So, <laughs> oh, crazy. That's no, good. It's Tia. Their back's unreal, isn't it? Okay, enough of that. Let's talk. So, my predictions. On the men's side, I'm going to say that Mr. Pat Valner is going to win the Rogue Invitational. And I say that because there's not as many events as, at the Rogue Invitational as there is at the Games. Um, I would say that Justin Medeiros has proven to be a more rounded athlete over a larger number of tests. But I feel like historically the Rogue Invitational is a bit more strength bias. There's often some odd uh, object uh, workouts. And I just feel like Pat excels in workouts where um, you've got to move heavier loads, especially if it's odd objects. So I'm going to say that Pat's going to win it. I am going to put Justin on the podium at second place. And I'm going to go out on a limb and put the Brazilian sweetheart, Gui Malheros. I'm going to put him in third, and um, purely because I just love the kid, but also he's been training with the Mayhem crew for the last few months, and I'm excited to see how much um, progress he's made since the games training with the Mayhem. So that's my men's predictions, uh, male predictions. On the female side, obviously it's very easy to put first place as Tia, Second place, man. Second place, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out and say. Oh, you see, I want to say carry peers, but again, just that strength component. I'm gonna go with Amanda Barnard. I'm gonna go Tietle to me, Amanda Barnard, second place, and I'm gonna go Laura Horvath in third. So uh, there you go. Those are my predictions, just off the bat, just on my gut feeling, so I'm excited to see how close I get to, uh, to getting that right. But um, what do you think? Who, do you, who are your podium picks for the Rogue Invitational? It is an absolutely stacked field, so many amazing athletes, and I'm excited to see some competition again. Even though the games weren't that far, that long ago, I'm, uh, I'm hungry for more, because I guess the games, the games give you an insight of where the athletes are currently at, you know, like really good data points, like, oh wow, you know, this athlete's made some good progress, or like Laura Horvath, she's back, she's obviously back in business. And so you see that and you go, okay, cool, I wanna see more now, I wanna see what they do at the next event. Guys, I haven't cut once, can you believe it? I think I should quit while I'm ahead. Um, so yeah, 
in the comments below. Let me know who are your picks for the podium at the Rogue Invitational. Um, I'm going to keep it short and sharp. Just wanted to make sure I put a vlog out at least while I'm in Adelaide. I'll be back in the Gold Coast tomorrow. Back to the regular scheduled. Uh, I, should, I should quit this video because I'm going to cut soon. Guys, I love you. Um, stay sexy. Keep roaring love. And let me know how you found this video uncut. Just, just me going for it. Okay. Uh, check out another video. You know, maybe check out, check out this video as well, if you don't mind. That'll really help. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We are chasing that 10K sub mark. Mwah!